Stephanie here from the Denman Homestead and it is a hot one today. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, June, beginning of June. And I just got my watermelons in the ground. I'll show you. So these are the heirloom sugar babies. And Got them planted almost all the way down. There's a couple uh, spaces that we didn't put any in. Uh, I'm sure that they will just take over everything. So um, we will keep an eye on that. And I restocked the little free stand today. So I went and I and I did tell my across the street neighbors as well about the the stand and. They came over and grabbed some stuff, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we've got tomatoes in here and uh, some cucumber still, cantaloupes, okra, peppers, green beans. I don't think the green beans are going to last very long outside. They, they tend to get really um, soft pretty quickly, so I'll have to get rid of those uh, by tomorrow morning if they don't get taken. But yeah, we've got a good variety in the stand. And Alora was just outside swimming, but she's inside now. So it's getting pretty hot. Yeah, everything's looking good. I've just been watering these rows for about um Oh, don't mind this. I was deadheading my marigolds and uh, drying these out because the marigolds have their seeds. I don't know if you saw my short, but these are where the marigold seeds are. In these little pods, these are the seeds. So I was drying these uh, marigolds out right here and then I was gonna harvest these seeds and, and save them. They look kind of ugly, but just drying them out. But uh, yeah, everything's pretty Grown pretty well. Oh, so look at this. Check this out. Y'all know how we've been struggling from day one with our uh, eggplants. And I really did not think I was going to get any eggplants because the, the plants are just, even still now, they're, they're, They've got some pretty thin holes in them, but I was out here and this caught my eye. Look. Check it out. Looks like we might get some eggplants after all. These are different. These are a different variety of eggplant that um, than than um, Jamie has. She has the Japanese style eggplants and mine are just the Black Beauty eggplants, the one that is more traditional looking, that I'm used to anyway. Um, kind of the, oh look, there's another one back there too. The bulbous type. So that'll be pretty neat that those kind of pulled through. Uh, yeah, and I was able to harvest some of those Black Beauty tomatoes today. Told Buddy I want to do a video on every single variety of tomato. Just take one of each and then maybe do like a taste test of them and uh, see what we think about them. That would be pretty cool, right? Because I've never grown a lot of these that uh, we're growing now. Looks like the ducks laid another egg. You know, the ducks that I don't have, <laughs> that I don't own. <laughs> Uh, got a lot of okra today, got more cantaloupes off the vine today, and peppers. Everything's doing pretty good, even though it's getting hot. Uh, the corn's rocking and rolling back there. Uh, my spaghetti squash, I picked a bunch of that a while back, and I let it just turn yellow off of the vine. And I'm pretty sure we can eat them now because a lot of them are just like yellow.
my basil is just bolted, so my basil's, I don't know, probably done for the season. But these spaghetti squash have ripened. Some of them are still a little green, but yeah, I can take these in now. cook with those yeah that's what's going on today got my watermelons in the ground watered them really well with my irrigation system and you know surprisingly I think a lot of people were afraid that the water that would be coming out of the pipe because it's black in the Sun would be too hot but I think because the main uh, pipe that runs to the manifold is underground it doesn't really have a, a chance to get very hot and once it's in these pipes it either evaporates or drains out completely but when it when I turn it on it's not hot it's not very hot so uh, that's a that's a plus because nothing's dying off because of the hot water or anything like that so yep that's what we've got growing on right now I just turned on this watering system on this side so we will let this water for a little bit and then I'll turn that one off I also want to give you an update on our loner Lottie chicken our little loner Lottie she was in here trying I think to lay an egg earlier Oh my gosh, I think she knocked out one of the fake eggs. Poor baby. Lottie. Oh, she knocked out two. What are you guys doing back there? Oh, look. Oh, she laid an egg. How funny. We got our first egg. It is blue. I love it. Let me pick up all these fake eggs. Okay, well I put all the little fake eggs back in the little baskets. So, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe uh, Loner Lottie will teach, teach the others how to lay eggs. Since they should be laying by uh, the end of this month or you know, this month or middle of next month is when they should all start laying. Look at these chickens. They're so crazy. You liking those tomatoes? What do y'all think about this view? Look at that. I am on the RV. It's on the top. I am in the middle of washing the roof. And the moon is out or coming out. I don't know if you can see it. But I have to wash this roof out of direct sunlight. And so I'm doing it at, what time is it? 8.08. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Washing the roof. It's a rubber roof. So it requires maintenance and sealing, like sealant every once in a while. So I'm washing it off, uh, scrubbing it really good. I'm probably just going to do the, the wash part today and then the sealant tomorrow because I am losing daylight. But I'm going to wrap up today's video here and, uh, you know, keep on keeping on and I will catch you on the next one. Bye. This girl's up here at nighttime. Huh? <laughs> 
So this girl's up here at night time. Well, gotta get done. Sorry. It's getting rain though. <laughs>